Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my Wolves Let's Play series. This time it's a game against Aston Villa and a big game at the top of the table. If you can spot there, Wolves are actually first in the table. We've had a really good, well, since the last game, which was against Newcastle on the uh, on YouTube, the live commentary. Uh, we were defeated an extra time against Middlesbrough, which I wasn't too disappointed about considering the team that we played. Uh, we actually took the lead after two minutes with Donovan Wilson scoring. What I've done now since we've been knocked out of the EFL Cup is I've dropped all these young players down into the under-21 so they haven't featured in any league games up until recently. But a good goal there from Donovan Wilson past Victor Valdez, so that's something for him to be proud about. His first goal for Wolverhampton Wonders as well, but we ended up losing to a late, late goal in extra time from Rudy Gested. Uh, so that was two defeats in, the, in a row. Uh, but we came back really well against Brentford with a 2-1 win. Helder Costa scoring an absolute worldie with eight minutes left to play. We went ahead through a penalty from Daniel Johnson, but then Brentford came back into the game and equalised. But then this won back by Johnson and then Helder Costa on the turn with an absolute blinding goal. A good win there. And then we followed that up by a 2-0 away win at Wigan. Cavaliero managing to score his first goal in... Uh, a pretty good performance for him he set up the first goal for Daniel Johnson and then scoring the second late on um, when that loads here we go so he just nicked the ball there and a little chip over the goalkeeper to make it 2-0 and he deservedly won player of the match for that game but then against Norwich in the last game pretty disappointing uh, a wonder goal again our downfall Oliveira striking it from 30 yards out if I just wait for this to load now Oliveira can't really do anything about that pretty good finish but we couldn't get a foothold in the game then we conceded a lot of chances a lot of possession as well We, I did play Morgan Gibbs White though in this game we've had an injury to our star man so far uh, Wolf Akram he's out for a while we have got a couple of players coming back from injury now. Gary Hooper has just come back, so he's not going to feature today. Um, some, lots of his physicals have gone down because of his hamstring injury. He's not going to take any part. But it's not too bad an injury. Three or four weeks he's going to be out for. He's going to return in two days. We did miss him in that Norwich game, and hopefully it was Morgan Gibbs-White and David Edwards who played instead of him. Um in the last game against Norwich but we'll be looking now for perhaps somebody else to fill that role instead. Right so I think I'm going to bring Max Power back into the team as this roaming playmaker role. In fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Sice. Max Power is going to play in that role. It's not his best position but he's going to play there and Sice is going to come in as a, a ball winning defensive minded midfielder. So we've got hopefully Power will come in and replace what we've been missing from Wolf Eichram. Daniel Johnson, even though he's scored a couple of goals recently, he's not, I don't consider him fit enough at 78% to be playing there. So he's but he's going to be on the bench. I think it's a bit too early to be risking Gary Hooper. He's a couple of games away from being ready. So let's see if we can get a good result against the Villa. Let me just check how we're setting out. Standard, we're away from home, so we're going to go from to counter. Uh, and we're going to try and exploit the flanks because of Costa and Cavalier have been in quite good form. Don't forget if you're enjoying this series then don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos and hopefully, I mean we've had a really good start to the season. Wolves at 23 points from 11 games, two points clear of Bristol who are in third place. Long, long way to go but hopefully we'll be looking at a promotion in our green kit again the second time on the YouTube series but an early chance for Villa and they've scored in the first minute we seem to have conceded a lot of goals in the first minute or so this season the first couple of minutes but we've got to come back from it, it was a corner from Jack Grealish failed to clear it they won a couple of headers and then it fell to there so it was a bit of a scramble but Villa taking the lead early on in the game so we need to get our foot on the wall and try and 
try and make something happen. Another chance for Villa now. Grealish, and it's a penalty again. Cameron Borthwick Jackson has given away a penalty, and it could be two nil here after only sixteen minutes. Oh dear. Yedinak to take it, and Akimi saves. Brilliant. So we're still in the game. That would have been game over. I thought if we couldn't have, uh, if we conceded then. I'm just going to change some instructions. Let's try and retain possession a bit because we haven't had any of the ball. Chance now. Silvio is pushed off the ball by Taylor, and now Villa come away with it. Grealish. Holy hain. This is good stuff from Villa. Can we get our foot on the ball? Yedinak, Hogan, good ball. Grealish, good save there from Akimi at the near post. Corner again. Let's see if we can get rid of this. We do. Danny Bart gets rid of it this time, but he comes back into the box. St another chance. Still, clear it away. Bob Varson can't beat Elphick to it, but we do eventually get it, and that's the end of the highlight. Half time then, 1 0. <sighs> Pretty disappointing from our boys. Let's see, is there anybody on the bench who we think can come on and make a difference? I'm going to bring on Daniel Johnson. He's going to play uh, as an advanced playmaker, which, taking off Sice, who's on a yellow card. Maybe I'll swap him with power. How does that look? Just failing to create many chances at the moment, or any clear cut. You can see that Villa have had three clear cut chances, we haven't had any. But here we go, it's a chance now for Villa. <laughs> Amavi down the left hand side, but Silvio wins the ball back, and can we build from defence? Hawes is foul. Oh, and Yedinak could be sent off here. He is. Looks like a straight red card as well, not a second yellow. So. I'm going to try to control the game now. Now we've got slightly more players. I'm not going to play at defence. I'm going to try and get a bit more, be a bit more direct. How's it? So, still no clear cut chances for us. Here's Hogan for Villa, and hits the post and horse clears it away <sighs> can Villa come with the ball Hogan beats his man and scores and that's the end of that we've been really poor really really poor today 2-0 down with 20 minutes to go we'll try and we'll try and get something yet another Disappointing live com, um, and the season's just starting to take a little bit of a bump. This will be the second defeat in as many matches. So hope that they don't score another one now. Here's chance, MRV, and it is. Oh god! Oh, this is just getting silly now. But this has been the worst performance that we've had so far. Two games without scoring as well. I think we're starting to realise how important Wolf Ikram has been linking up the, uh, the attack and the midfield. But it's really tight at the top there. We've just, you know, dropped out of the places there. But that, I can't believe 49 minutes, 49 minutes when the sending off was, and they scored three goals after that. So really, really disappointing. So it could be a tricky little spell for us, tricky little October. I'm playing for quite a while now and we'll come back around about December time with a big game then and hopefully we can we'll be still be near the top of the table we've been started off really really well and then a little blip now that we're on uh, and then Brighton leads see if we can get back on track thank you very much for watching if you like this then don't forget to give it a little thumbs up and maybe subscribe as well check out some of the older videos in this series this is episode three so there are two others that you've missed and thank you very much I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.